Hey, 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 hey. It's your boy, once again, KQKC Boxing Network. Back with another, another boxing update. First of all, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for your condolences. Thank you for showing up and showing out this past weekend. I think we had a good weekend of boxing. And that's all we care about when we're doing this thing. We all can disagree, but we all can agree to disagree. That's what KQ, KC, Boxing Network is all about. Now, let's talk about it. We talking about Lomachenko. And tomorrow we're going to be talking about Lomachenko. We're going to talk about Devin Haney. George Cambosa. And yes, Javante Tank Davis. And yes, Earl Spence. Boost Innocent. Oh, baby. I got a show for you tomorrow. No, def- no, no doubt about it. Now, we got two guys. That's not really in their prime. That fault this past weekend. Your boy, KQ, was on three different networks calling fights. Now, a pair of former champions highlighted the whole weekend. Both picking up their second win in a row since they lost to a younger Tiger in the sports rank. Both with an eye on more glory ahead. <laughs> wow. While one is closer to his prime than the other. Both remain near the top of the division. The most interesting story in Boston over the last three weeks have been the actions at lightweight. Now, let's talk about the lightweight division. Four critical fights have concluded and all the winners impressed in different ways. Uh, 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 George Cambosa was ultimately the most impressive, entering as a big, I mean, a big underdog against lightweight so called King, Teofio Lopez Jr., and trading knockdowns en route to victory. Oh, baby, then we got Devin Haney. Yes. Devin the Dream Haney continue his progression against an established veteran. No doubt about it, Devin Haney has the goods. Well, at least almost the goods. Like I told you once before, like I told you again and again. KQ do not follow no narrative. Devin Haney is a great young man. He's a great young fighter. He just don't have no power. Now, can he get power? I don't know. Now, the older he get, more and more he should get power. But it's not happening. Because we've been saying this for three years now. It hasn't happened. So, what makes him so unique is this. He has other attributes that can pretty much nullify that that can pretty much substitute the power he can break his opponent down he can get in and get out he can make them miss and make them pay and keep doing that over and over again simultaneously and then it might take some work hard work dedication that's what it's all about. But I have no doubt. At his age. At his uh, athleticism. As his ring guy crew. Uh, Q. Uh, grows. I believe he can be. That formidable opponent. Floyd Mayweather. He wasn't no knockout artist. He was a defensive specialist. And we know your defense is your offense. So. 
your attributes can be a pretty big asset to your craft. Now, that's not the only lightweight division fight fighter. Now, we have another lightweight division holder. And we're talking about Javante Tang Davis. That's right. He held off a motivated threat in a fight where his power didn't make a difference. And that's with Pit Bull, Pit Bull Cruz. And Vasily Lomachenko nearly shut out an established contender. Wow. Now, the fun begins. Now, with his own win over Richard Comey, Vasily Lomachenko made his case for a shot at Camboza. That's right. Wow. Lomachenko nearly stopped Comey, but arguably lost valuable seconds, telling Comey Corner to stop the fight when he could have taken care of it himself. Now, Lomachenko could create the opportunity again, but held served down the stretch and was nearly never really threatened. Now, the futures. Now, let's talk about it for a minute. Lomachenko is now 6-1 and one against fighters ranked in the top 10 at lightweight. That's right. By... Uh, another other than uh, 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 TBRB and Rain Magazine. Okay, now, of course, we know that Rain Magazine, owned by none other than Golden Boy Oscar De La Hoya, with two of those wins coming since Lomachenko lost to Lopez. Now, Lomachenko will be the WBO's lead contender. Haney has won two straight against similarity ranked contenders and there is the inherent conflict over the WBC title at play. Now Javante Davis had won three in a row against fighters ranked from featherweight to junior welterweight and holds the WBA's sub belt at lightweight. In other words all have a merit case to be the first to challenge Cambosa. Cambosa won at a perfect moment. This is what I've been telling you all. He's at the right place at the right time. He's not an A-level star. He's a B-plus, right place at the right time star. Other words, the next decision he makes or the next fight he takes will be the best or better or be the, the most important decision he will ever make because it's gonna make or break his ass now of course i still stick to this he won't have the belts that long he's not that type of fighter he's not that type of finesse fighter but i will say congratulations to him because he did beat one of the cockiest most arrogant most lying ass uh 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 uh, 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 uh lightweight so-called undisputed, but he's unified champion in Tiafino Lopez Jr. and Senior. So, they got their ass paint. So, congratulations to Campos for doing that. So, now, these guys are in play. Now, you notice how they mention Ryan Garcia? Because Ryan Garcia is not credible. Ryan Garcia it's in a dreamland. Ryan Garcia is an Instagram star. Ryan Garcia is an Instagram champion. Ryan Garcia just don't have enough pop. What I will say this. Him, Ryan Garcia, and also Roly Romero. Rolando Romero. They could fight. It can be a novelty act. Just like Muhammad Ali grandson Nico Ali yes he need to sit his damn ass down yes he does but maybe they can use Roly Romero and Ryan Garcia as a novelty act as a clown show as a gesture 
You know what a jester is, my brothers and sisters. They what they do is they a long time ago a jester make the clown laugh when the I mean make the king laugh when the king is depressed when the king is not feeling well when the king want to be cheered up so they go get the jester hey jester cheer up our king cheer our king up but don't worry big baby Miller big baby Anderson from Ohio he cheered everybody up with that damn pimp outfit on. But let's get back to it, baby. Wow, let's get back to it. Wow, wow, wow. All right? So now, the immediate future isn't in the ring at lightweight. It's all about who offers the best deal. Bingo. Yes, sir. Boxing is a business. Keep that in mind. That's what I tried to tell that knucklehead caller last week. Boxing is a business, all right? So, therefore, boxing is a business, and it's all about who offers the best deal. So, the negotiating table is where the real fight will commence. Anyone who declares there is a right answer for who should face Cambosa next, and tipping their hand about who they like the best. There is no wrong answer, baby. It's just a bottom line. Matters are simpler at Bannerweight. Ha <laughs> ha, you damn right. But this is the case. Eddie Hearn will go to bat right now for his fighters. So Devin Haney might be in good hands right now. Eddie got the money. Eddie got the clout. Eddie got the know-how. Then you got none other than Bob Aaron. We know Bob Aaron in the past is cheaper than cheaper. We know what he has done to Terrence Crawford year after year after year after year. We know how cheap he has been against other fighters. Why you think Lopez ended up at Trilla? But Lomachenko, Lomachenko, that's his adopted son. Lomachenko, that's the star of top rank. That's Bob Aaron baby. That's right. That's his baby. So he might shell out a few dollars. He might shell out a little more than he normally will to get that fight. Oh, baby. Then we talking about none other than Floyd Mayweather slash Al Heyman. Yes, the money is there. The money always there at that PBC. And also Floyd Joy Mayweather Promotions. It's always there. So, we got a lot of money floating around. And that's why I say, George Cambosa, you at the right place and be level fighter at the right time. This is another edition of Boxing Updates. I am, oh, I am your boy, KQ, KC, Boxing Network. If you haven't subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe. Yes, sir. We marching. Oh, baby. We marching to 5,000 subscribers. Let's show your love. Let's show your love for the singing OG. KQ. KC Boxing Network. I come on Monday through Friday. That's 1230. That's 1230 p.m. Central Time. Then on Saturday mornings, I got a call-in show for your ass. Yes, sir. And that call-in show, that call-in show starts right at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. And also, oh, baby, also, on Sunday mornings, yes, sir, it's the morning after show. We're going to talk about the fights the night before that I call play-by-play play and blow-by-blow. So, come on, show your love. Show your love for KQ, KC Boston Network. Shout out to the almighty LDBC. Shout out to Black Media's Row. And I leave you with the ancient word of peace. Assalamu alaikum. And with that, I'm out of here. Peace and love.